What up guys, welcome back to another video. In my basement here, just picked up the new Helix 5 Chirp DI GPS Gen 2. Pretty excited to get this unit on my boat. Uh, I don't really have a decent fish finder on my boat, so finally splurged and got myself something good, so I'm excited to use it. We're gonna do a quick little unboxing here, just pull it out, see what's inside the box, and then we will go into the garage. I'll probably bring you guys out there, I'll get it installed, and then we'll power it on, run through a few features, or see what it has. And then um, when I get out on the water and get used to using it, We'll probably do an in-depth review out there, so let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. Some of you may already have this unit. Let me know what you think. Uh, this unit also has winter capabilities, so I could use it ice fishing, so I'm also excited for that purpose as well. But let's just get into it here. Let's open up this box and see what's in it. Helix 5 Chirp DI GPS. Here we go. See what's inside the box. All right. Looks like you got the manual here from Hummingbird. Got the unit right here. Nice. Check that out, guys. That looks awesome. Can't wait to get that on boat. Some plugins. Place to mount it. Can't turn it on though, as it's got no power till we plug it in. So, like I said, we'll uh, just go through the box real quick, get it on the boat. Got a mount. Mount it to the boat. Got ourselves our transducer cord for the down imaging. It's a bunch of extra cable running through your boat. Looks like I got myself a project this afternoon. What else do we got? And just a couple parts for installing. Allen wrench, a little thank you note from Hummingbird. You're welcome. Some screws and a few mounts. So pretty basic here. Like I said, not a lot until I get installed on the boat. And we'll turn this on and check it out. So there it is, guys. Everything in the box. I'm going to head out to the garage. I'm going to get this installed. And then I'll bring you guys out there. So let's head to the garage. All right, guys, there it is. Just installed the Helix 5 on the boat. Got a little swivel mount for it, so that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on real quick for you guys, run through the features it offers. All right, press menu, normal or simulator mode. I'm gonna go simulator mode because we're not in the water, so we wanna see some actual structure and objects. So I'm gonna let this load, guys. All right, guys, got it loaded up here. So you can see the first view here is your traditional sonar graph. Shows you the depth, miles per hour, water temperature. You can see this nice little hump here dropping out to, we're in 48 feet right now. So I'm just gonna run through the views, see what it looks like in all different views. So here it looks like we've got the same view, but in enlarged uh, miles per hour and temperature and everything in depth. Here we got the down imaging. That's really cool, look at that, you can see the hump we just went over. You can see some rock structure, some trees on it. You can see some fish scattered in. That's a cool view. I can't wait to try that out on the water. That's going to be awesome, guys. There's a few spots I want to check out and see what they actually are. Another view. Looks like we can do split screen between down imaging and regular, so you can kind of cross-reference what you're seeing on your main screen with the down imaging to see what it actually is. That's pretty cool. It's probably the main screen I'll probably be in. Here you got a times two view. Looks like you got a view here where maybe you might be seeing your boat moving around this side and then radar on that side. Here's where your Navionics uh, lake chip comes in. You can see all the contours and where your boat is, so that's pretty cool, the GPS side of it. Hit view again. Looks like you get a compass with that. Another view where the lake chip will come in and you'll see your Boat traffic on this side, maybe your trolling pattern on this side. Same view with the compass. Looks like you got the radar view along with the Navionics on the right. Oh, and check that view out, guys. This one's really cool. Here you got your main graph up top. You got your down imaging below, and you got your lake chip on the left, so you kind of have them all on the screen at once, so that's pretty cool. Hit view again. Put your screenshots if you ever take them. 
and back to the beginning. All right, guys, just quick rundown, powered it on, ran through the views real quick. Uh, one more view actually I'll show you before we end this video. You can actually hit the menu button. Let's see here. And we will go to, not that. Here we go. We can actually go down to Sonar. And this is pretty cool. The Helix is now Offer. Dun, dun, dun. Ice fishing mode. Try to focus there. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Confirm. Yes. It's going to power off and back on. All right, guys, check this out. So when we're done with the summer, I can go ahead and buy the transducer with these guys, with the Helix 5. I believe any of the Helixes you can. And you can go ahead and use it for ice fishing, which I'm a huge ice fisherman, as most of you know. So then, here we go. Check that out, guys. Isn't that pretty cool? Got your traditional flasher right here. Your sonar, actual depth finder here. And I believe like a jigging up and down pattern on the right. Thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick little video at unboxing and powering it on and running through some of the features. When I get out on the boat, I'll get more use of it and do a more in-depth review on, on the water and how it works. So let me know what you guys think. Stick around. I'm excited to get this guy out. I'm excited to get my boat out, I should say, and start fishing. So stick around, guys. Watch for some videos. Stay tuned. We'll see you back on the water. Goodbye.